Hey guys, it's me again, Max Dean. Remember in the last vlog I told you I was gonna be helping my friend Jeremy do some welding while he repaired my lawnmower? It happened. Didn't record any of it, but it happened. Yes. Same old problems, same old issues. The uh, memory was not large enough to take the video I wanted to shoot of it and the video wouldn't upload fast enough so I couldn't record it while I was trying to upload the video it was taking so long he showed up we did the work we finished the work he left I came back out here to check on the status of the upload failed so I had to redo it and but either way there wouldn't have been enough memory to record any of it anyway so but there'll be some more welding projects in the future I'm sure I'm certain of it my head itches today's the 19th and it's a uh, very special birthday for a friend of mine and Brandy happy birthday so I wanted to say that. What else did I want to say? I got bit by a spider, I think, on the back of my knee. Ouch. Sucks. So I took Benadryl, and that's gonna knock me out. Mm-hmm. But if I don't take Benadryl, then I get, um, what do they call it? When your lungs fill with fluid and your throat closes up? Death. So don't want that. All right, I'll check back in with you momentarily. Don't go anywhere. So this is the hat they tore up. Can you tell? Is it noticeable? Yeah, they certainly did a number on it. That's too bad. I thought I was gonna have this hat for a long time. And I probably will keep it, but I don't know what I'll use it for. Damn shame. I remember when I bought that hat. Got it at a hat store. Fiesta is taking place this weekend is the kickoff. Like the San Antonio Fiesta events and all that stuff. It starts off every year with what they call oyster bake and that's at St. Mary's University and it's a two it's a two-day thing um, but that kicks off all the fiesta events and then there's you name it going on anywhere downtown you're gonna find some partying but all week Monday through Friday or it's either Monday through Friday or Tuesday through Friday they have uh, an event called Niosa Niosa stands for Night in Old San Antonio. Night in Old. And so it's, um, that's a lot of fun because they basically get a whole piece of downtown and they section it off. And it's filled with nothing but booths for food, for novelty things, uh, food, beer, food, music, uh, beer, and music and food and it's awesome night in old San Antonio if you're not from the area and do you want a good flipping time make plans to come out to a San Antonio Fiesta event in the future you'll love it it's so much fun everybody see it I, I don't know I've never had been to like a big shindig like that in any other place besides San Antonio so I don't know how others react in those type of situations where it's a lot of beer a lot of food and a lot of people sometimes you get you know the bad people who will come out and they just start trouble but for the most part everybody gets along it's all just fun and no problem you know what I mean San Antonio 
for the most part, they really know how to party and, and get along. Alcohol and crowds doesn't usually end well a lot of times, but in San Antonio, for the most part, it does. It's more, it's more happy than sad, I would think. But yeah, there's so much to do. I'm, I did. I wanted to do some recording down there last year, but eh, didn't. I'm thinking about doing at least one night at Nyosa this year, but I'm not sure yet. One, I don't drink as much as I used to, if I drink at all. Two. I don't know who would want to go with me. And you don't want to do something like that alone. I mean, you can, because you're always going to bump into the people that you used to go with. Because pretty much when you go, everybody has their place where they hang out. You know what I mean? Um, like you hang out, okay, by the tree in the courtyard, by the thing, and then, uh, or no, no, meet me at the end of Clown Alley where it meets this and that. And the, you know, everybody has their own section where they hang out. And we always hung out in this one particular section where it was like uh, barbecue foods and it was like a, a big windmill in the center, big like round draft beer bar. And so all I know, I, like, I can just show up by myself, go there, and I'm sure I'll run into a bunch of old friends. But I don't know if I want to go alone because a, a lot a part of the fun is walking around and bumping into people, maybe finding the love of your life. You never know. I think I've always had that in mind when I went because who doesn't like to be in love, right? But I, I'm beginning to think, and this is what people always have said, if you're looking for love, you're not going to find it. It's when you least expect it that you get shot with Cupid's arrow. So I'm not really into that right now. I haven't been looking for love. I haven't been seeking a girlfriend. None of the, nothing like that at all, really. So I think that if I were to go this year, being that I'm not looking, I might run into somebody who I fall in love with. Is that weird? I think that sounds weird. But it's true. But maybe not. I don't know. I mean, more than likely not. Let's be honest here. Anyway, guys, I took a Benadryl earlier, and I'm fading, and I'm kind of getting loopy. I'm talking in circles. Am I? Circles? Talking? <clears throat> so I'm going to go ahead and say goodbye. Thank you for tuning in. Thank you for hanging out with us. We love you for supporting this channel. Keep them coming. Keep sharing. Keep, keep. instead of saying keep, K-E-E-P, I say teep, T-E-E-P. I never noticed I did it until one of my sisters pointed it out. I teep doing it and tept. I teep and tept. Yeah, I'm, I gotta go lay down. Okay, thank you guys. Talk to you later. Fiesta!